Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. And uh, today we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be reviewing this other pretty amazing scan tool. This is a, a V diagnostic tool. Uh, and the model is VD70 Lite. This is actually a pretty sophisticated scan tool that I'm super excited to test out. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Let's unbox this thing and see what's inside of it. All right, guys, so this is what this uh, box looks like. It's pretty nice. It has this QR code. What is that? Uh, you can follow them on social media. Um, and then also, this is the picture of the scan tool itself. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this box. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start unboxing this little bad boy. Wow, look at that. Actually, even comes with this uh, case. That is really awesome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and test out this uh, amazing scan tool and let's see what it has inside of this case. And let's talk about it. Wow, look at that. There's a lot of stuff. There's a manual, this really nice case. It has the connector for the OBD2. And what this is, this is really, really cool. I'm super amazed about this, guys. So what this is, is actually, a, it has a bunch of different connectors, uh, not connectors, but basically for, like outlets. So if you're, let's say like in Middle East, United States or Europe, it's gonna have different plugs for you to charge up this scan tool. That's really cool. Next, it has another uh, connector right here with the wire. Um, and then our main thing is this scan tool, guys. Pretty nice. Let's look at this. Look at that. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and connect this uh, OBD cable into the car and then connect the other end into the scan tool. All right, we're gonna start the car. And we're gonna look at this scan tool right here. My old school music needs to actually calm down right there. Okay, so just so you know, guys, I already set up this scan tool, but the first time when you get this scan tool, you're gonna press this um, power button and then it's basically gonna ask you to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, it's actually normal that it's asking you to do that. A lot of actually brand new scan tools that you use will have that. Uh, so also apologize for the glare, um, but, you're just gonna have to connect um, to Wi-Fi and then after that you don't have to worry about anything again so the car is running let's go ahead and do the auto scan on it and see what it does this scan tool is actually really sophisticated it has so many features it has a camera it has a this really nice um actually um like a, a leaning uh device right here so I can actually like pull that thing uh this way and if you know for ease of diagnostics i can actually like set it right over here so that is really 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 cool uh okay so we did the auto scan it's asking the the country all right united states uh nissan let's go ahead and see uh it's we can do the automatic scan really really neat scan tool. actually like i <laughs> you know all of these other cheaper scan tools they do have uh like issues with not issues but they don't have like things like you know that you can use like this leaning tool and other stuff but as you can see it's actually scanning it pretty fast it depends on the car some cars can take longer to get everything scanned um but yeah it has it has a lot of modules so, you know obviously this is a newer crazy newer car um, it's basically done scanning all the modules uh, so we only have like three modules that have some faults in there body control module clicking diagnostic and we'll see what it's going to show uh, 
this candle has a lot of things that you can do um so you can actually do a lot of um testing uh with this candle you can do a lot of uh actuator actuations and things like that read ecu information so that will give you the ecu information uh, all right and then we can read dtcs all right so oh actually okay so that's for the low prior tire pressures and all that that so these are just uh past codes so um and then we're gonna go back just clear those dtcs oh that's really quick okay no dtcs found anymore all right let's go back let's see what these the, the the door lock let's see live data that's really really cool so look at that this is this is really awesome uh you can get all the live data and stuff you want to see if uh, the body control module is receiving signals um so let's see driver door switch right now it's showing off if i open it it's showing on so this this way you can really test out a lot of things like right now by me opening this driver side door the uh basically the data showed from off to on which means that the switch in the door is working or whatever is located all right so if you're having some issues with like let's say your dome light is not coming on when you open the door even though you set on it now you can test and know that hey this is working actually like the driver door switch is working so there's so many different tests you can do obviously there's just some crazy depends also on the car year make and model and things like that but let's just go for example to our regular thing uh that a lot of people will probably be familiar with is the engine control module all right um because i'm gonna look at some stuff over there uh, obviously there's no check engine light on this car yet so there's no dtcs all right and then what i want to do is i want to uh so actuation test you can do a lot of actuation tests look at that fuel pump relay like alternator duty ventilation control valve now that's really really cool like i didn't know that this cantle is so capable of all this stuff now live data look at that um this is this is awesome let's check this out the car is running right now so it's uh you can read uh, anything basically battery voltage right there so if you don't want to go under the hood and check the battery voltage look with this cantle it will tell you how if it, your alternator is working so it's working as you can see it's charging right there 14 and you can also you know select all these right here you can select them and then you can do custom selection you can also record the you know everything on this cantle that's how cool it is and if we scroll down it's going to show us the engine speed uh and just a bunch of stuff load um start signal going fan there's a lot of data pids honestly so all signals temperature yeah okay so this is super handy let's see what this uh scantle offers us in the transmission control module all right honest obviously read the uh ec information dtc is no found live data i'm always always interested in live data to see what kind of stuff they have in there okay that's really important just be engine speed signal line pressure sensor yeah this is really like honestly because this car has a cvt transmission they're trash you know so at some point it will be super useful for me to use this can to actually like uh see what's good what's not good and what's going on especially that it has all this live data and you know it's it's pretty amazing now you can also you don't have to do the automatic scan you can go to system selection and then you can select whichever module you want to look at another thing this scan tool has is special functions so you know there's a lot of newer cars that have you have to do the oil reset so by doing this oil reset it will actually help you to reset the oil on whichever car you're working on okay so yeah that's going to be really useful as well and it's not just the oil reset there's other things that you can do like tire resets i'm pretty sure as well um let's see automatic detection read the VIN code let's see if we can do the oil reset on this car i don't even know if it has one maybe it does maybe it doesn't i don't remember but i know a lot of other cars they do have these another thing to point out is as you can see this scan tool right there is charging so that's really really good uh, you don't have to actually like you can plug it in at your house if you want to charge it but you can also charge it with just having it plugged into the car and the car running
Okay, so sometimes it uh, looks like uh, I would have to manually select all that uh, so because sometimes with these, it depends on the car, but they will not always read the automatic function. So you have to do that thing manually. But I'm not going to do that right now. But as you can see, these are all the options that you can do. Some different crazy stuff like AC relearn uh, and things like that. Uh, injector coating. ABS bleeding. That's really cool. ABS bleeding right there. A lot of newer cars, they require ABS bleeding. Yeah, and this is your main menu basically, guys. All right, so... There's more stuff, there's settings, in the settings, you can change a lot of things in the settings. Uh, and you can change the brightness, the sound, and you know, things like that. This is really bright, wow. All right, cool, and then more. And then it also has, so you can do, uh, you can actually attach, you can attach the camera into this thing and uh i'm still learning about this scanto but i'm pretty sure you can attach this, the camera uh into this thing and you can kind of use it for a lot of things uh but some of the functions of the scanto they require network uh, but right now as you can see there's no network actually so like we did all the special functions and things like that without the network so that's really really cool and um yeah, i'm super excited super happy about this scanto it's going to be super useful and then uh let's see what this one shows yeah there's a lot of stuff what's really really cool is that you can actually record and take pictures with this uh, scan tool like screenshots and things like that also you don't have to actually shut this scan tool off all the way by holding the button you can just uh literally like kind of do it like in your phone just press it and then it just kind of go, goes to sleep like that this is what the back side of the scan tool looks like and this scan tool isn't too heavy it's actually it's 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 pretty light and super awesome i'm so happy it comes with that nice case so i'll be able to carry it around anywhere i go and just so you know guys this scan tool is basically like a, a smart scan tool so <laughs> you can literally like exit out and you can even go like on the internet you can do whatever like you can take pictures go to the gallery right there um check out whatever you have out there you know it's it's actually look i just did a screenshot of that that's cool but this is like your main main menu and there's a camera right there okay let's see let's wait for the camera oh look at that camera Ooh, camera hello but yeah it's only the rear camera just so you guys know there's no front camera uh but yes yeah, sound recorder you can do so much and i'm pretty sure if you connect to the uh, internet you can most likely download other apps as well so this is literally like a little tablet pretty much this is awesome So this is my hand right here, and this is the scan tool. So as you can see, it's not super huge, and yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm super happy to have this scan tool. I really, I'm really, really excited to use it in the future for all the projects and cars that I need. Obviously, OBD2 cars, as you know, we, we work on a lot of old school cars, but you know, still there's there are some cars, some newer cars that are gonna we're gonna be working on and saving as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also don't forget to check out all the links in the description. There's probably gonna be a discount code as well for you guys to use when buying this uh, really cool scan tool. So thank you so much for all your attention, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you. Well, here's that little handy scan tool. It's got this case and you know you can literally put it on your shelf and it's going to be like another tool for you to use in the future and um to fix all these machines <laughs>